In this example, we're going to create a base page, and in that base page, we're going to go ahead and inherit in every single page in our website. First, go to App Code, right click, and add new item. Go ahead and select Class. This is going to be our base page class. So let's name it Base Page. Let's go ahead and get rid of everything here. Let's go ahead and get some base code in. Again, here's our base page class. And then we're going to write some code inside of our base page class to create some methods. First, page pre-render. Notice the lowercase r under render. And we're going to check to see if the title of each page is empty or untitled page, and if so, create an exception. And this will alert the user that the page is not titled. And we're going to call our base page pre-render. Now this will go ahead and run the pre-render event. And we're going to go ahead and go to login. And in login, we're going to change the inherited page from the system.web.ui page to base page. Now we're going to have to do this in all of our back end code files. Let's test it real quick. And we haven't put titles in, so we should receive an error. There we go. System's a little slow. And you'll see that it threw the exception page title cannot be untitled page or empty string because currently I have no titles defined in our page directive. Let's go ahead and go back to our ASPX page and add a title. You can just call this login. I'll change it later. run and this time the page should run properly and also notice the title at the top of the Internet Explorer browser now to change this so that we actually call it the or change the inherited page to base page we'll just go ahead and do a find replace and first, type the page that is currently being inherited in the find what text box. And replace it with base page. Now we want to be careful here, and we only want it to apply to our back, back end code pages. So if you have a VB or C sharp project, you want to go ahead and click on find options. And look at these file types and you can see the defaults we're going to go ahead and just demo .vb now I'm not going to use vb we're going to use c sharp so change it to cs and replace all sorry about that getting the call Now we want to go ahead and add titles to our page so that we don't get errors.
Okay, when I started typing these, I think I actually typed titles for the CSS demo. So I'm going to go ahead and run this and see if I get an error, which I did. Just double click on the error and notice that it says titles. Remove that S. Again, I'm not going to redo the video. It's actually a good learning experience anyways. Go ahead and run it. And now we have titles. Notice CSS demo is our title in Internet Explorer.